Welcome to the Edlex Scribbler show, a community podcast that goes alongside Edlex Scribbler's blog, which is a youth-oriented, objective-driven community platform where you can express your thoughts. So we are finally back after a long hiatus due to numerous technical slags and a plethora of other problems. And there's going to be new episodes every week. And there's another good news: the blog is finally live. It should be by the time you're listening to this. And I've added two two new platforms for the blog as well. Earlier, it was just on WordPress uh, website uh, on idlixcribbler dot wordpress dot com, but now it's also on Medium and Tumblr, which are also uh, big platforms for blogging. And I've got handful of content over there, and I'll try to be regular because yeah, writing is difficult and it takes time to put good content out there. So moving ahead, as the title suggests, today's episode is all about fitness during COVID nineteen. And to talk about this, please welcome today's guest and a friend of mine, Sujit Reddy. He's a fitness enthusiast and a pretty decent transformation journey of his own. And he has a steady yet right path in the field of fitness. And I've personally watched him train and work out, and his zeal is unreal. He also makes videos on YouTube and posts on Instagram about the same subject. So thank you, Sujit, for coming to the show. Yeah. Uh, so. my name is sujith and i'm a calisthenics athlete i mostly train with my body weight and uh, like i use occasionally weights but mostly i train with my body weight so yeah, so that was good to know and we'll also talk about that later so yeah. so let's start so hmm. i would like to ask how did you get into this fitness thing and what motivated you like while growing up as like uh, a kid football was always my favorite sport and everything so like i had this football lifestyle in my own life like my father used to play football my had a school which is uh, like a pretty decent had a football team so we all used to play football and all so i had this fitness like lifestyle throughout my uh, life so and i have many seniors who had amazing body transformations and all but i used to wonder why like what's the point of getting all these uh, looks and all it's only for looks or you, you gain something from it so i just wanted to try it when i was in like doing my inter or my plus 1 plus 2 so uh, i started off going to gym like uh, not researching anything just randomly i started going to gym and working out was kind of fun but i didn't know what i was doing in the gym like i i used to see big dudes and everyone like working out and thing so i used to like feel lower at times that uh, i won't be able to do that body transformation all that i see in pictures that i see that is in bollywood movies and all right yeah so uh, so what happened is at the start it was like really scary kind of scary so it was really scary to go to the gym and seeing those like bulky dudes over there yeah so exactly. I, i i started going for two three months and then i stopped i lost interest in everything but i continued my football and all okay. uh, but uh, what happened in my last year exactly like around october last year I used to play basketball in my college, so I I had a ligament tear of my right ankle. Okay. So it took me like around six months to recover, like completely. But I still used to play basketball and all. It took me six months completely. So I didn't have a proper diet. I used to just sleep on the bed all day, and it was like so like I lost all my what what so called like interest in fitness and everything. I used to just watch Netflix and you know right the the normal. Average man lifestyle, like nothing, no fitness at all. Just eating and just sleeping on the couch and everything. Yeah. So I, I used to like, I kind of hated myself. What am I doing in this state right now? My body felt so weak, like I couldn't able to walk. Mm-hmm. So I started going to the physiotherapist. Okay. And uh, he he helped me out uh, in healing my ankle and everything. And after that, and one of my main reasons I started training was uh, anime. Okay. Most of the people laugh laugh at this part. most of the you most of the athletes who are out there are inspired by you know this famous character called goku right yeah 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 so everyone knows goku in anime called uh, dragon ball the yeah. so most of the athletes are inspired by him uh, because of his self development how he whatever situation comes he'll just try to self develop himself and transform himself after one level again he'll go through other stages like yeah exactly he'll transform himself wow. yeah that was my like major inspiration i saw many anime in my Uh, that time like when my ankle was broke okay so uh, i started going to the gym again i had like 2 3 months of experience kind of what all should i do and everything 
with that experience yeah. again i went to the gym i made a like in those uh, like for the two weeks i made a plan what all should i do i researched a lot like from youtube and all like all the fit- fitness influencers mm. and all i researched many blo- like i read many blogs and fitness uh, researches kind of so i i got a basic structure what should i do i planned myself after yeah. going to the gym i i didn't care about the trainer like most of the trainers i i first the thing was i chose a gym i chose a gym where it was near to me like most of the people do the same problem like when you're when you that when the days were low like you can feel low and everything you don't feel like going to gym right yeah but uh, to overcome that i chose a gym which is like near walkable distance to me the gym was not so goodly equipped and everything mm-hmm. it was like it was not it has old equipment and rusty old things okay but still it was near to my house so in the days i was like really tired and all also i should just walk to the yeah, gym you could still go at least so that yeah i could still go and do something yeah i need a vehicle to like i don't need a vehicle i don't i need to depend on anyone to drop me and all correct yeah that's good actually yeah so that is the major thing that helped me so i just started going to the gym the first, <laughs> there's this funny part over there the first day i went to the gym mm-hmm. I I I I I was like first one week mostly they'll do like warm ups and full body training yeah. you'll not you'll not train heavy the first day only yeah yeah so i started like full i i didn't ask the trainer what should i do i just went i lifted some leg weights i did my bench press i did squats and all like all warm up so i did so much i i ate like uh, i drank some paya juice or something yeah. before that so i puked in uh, the like center of the gym okay <laughs> right in center of the gym after the first day of workout yeah. i was so embarrassed like like this is a real story i was so embarrassed i was like what, uh, what like how should i show my face the next day mm. this is the closest gym i had near my house and i ruined everything so what happened is the next day my mom yeah my mom also was like nice inspiration to me she also goes to the same gym she she like kind of workouts and does yoga there mm-hmm. So what happened is uh, my mom was like okay cheer up nothing will happen it's common and also i just i just showed up the other day yeah so i decided like i shouldn't be this week and all so i started training i saw i daily has to have the same schedule morning has to go to college and i have to ma- i should i have like i should maintain the diet right to improve the yeah, exactly yeah. strength and yeah. strength and your physique right. so i started the main thing that helped me a lot was researching mm-hmm. researching all about fitness and what following nice fitness fitness influencers and nice nutritionists and is all people so uh, i made a plan for myself so first first like first one month i was f- focusing on my strength yeah how to regain my strength that i previously had like that i lost due to this injury yeah focus on my strength slowly slowly after a month i could see progress in my strength and everything mm. and uh, i used to take like in, in engineering college most of the people don't take uh, lunches and everything they like stay in canteen and all yeah exactly yeah so i used to i used to like uh, for my physique to build so i need to take good food right Correct, yeah. so i previously also i used to take my la- uh, lunch uh, with me my mom used to cook for me but uh, people used to laugh at me they like you are in this age and you bring a lunch box and you eat all these things yeah i used to get all this veggies with uh, eggs and rice and the whole meal good like food. a proper meal yeah good food basically mm-hmm. good food so my like people used to laugh at me uh, at this like in this age you you are doing all these things yeah. okay yeah so uh what happened was uh one day i got frustrated like i i i i told them if you want to be with me like as a friend be with me or i'll just uh go away i'm i'm doing this for myself mm-hmm. yeah okay. so uh yeah and no, no. so after that uh, after 2 3 months like uh, it it was the same schedule i just listen to uh, and one of my most inspirations was music okay you know everyone loves yeah. music right? so yeah i used to stick with my music stick with my routine mm-hmm. um, there were days i felt really low there were days like i didn't even know what was i doing like i was like i was questioning myself will i be able to get the, the get that physique or will i be will i get strong yeah. will i you will question yourself right through the process correct yes yeah i i was i was not strongly believing in my process what i was doing that was like major thing that most of the people they don't believe what they're doing mm. they just think something will happen one day but it won't it should work 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 and exactly. some day it will happen yeah 
but you should believe in the process process is like i believe like process is more important than the result you get at the last correct yeah that's very correct very true yeah yeah the process is like what what makes you strong at the end like the the motives the principles you stick to is what makes you strong at at the end of the result exactly yeah. when without any hard work and all if you get the result through somehow but still you won't be now what should i say humble to the humble to to yourself you'll you'll get that i don't know you'll, you'll not be proud enough so that you can yeah. tell other people okay. your experience and all the result does not feel the same i, I guess okay. yeah 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 so and this was my like starting how i started and what mm-hmm. all i did what motivated me and all mostly it was like i i used to just like not listen to people i my parents supported my told what were my dreams with my parents that helped me a lot mm-hmm. most of the youth doesn't tell what you want to their parents correct like, yeah they don't tell like if, if they think that if you tell your parents that you want a good future and all they'll be like no this go study and all but they you should explain them. my my parents also did question me why why, why was the point of doing all this for like but i explained them i i talked with them like for a week two weeks then they understood like okay these are his goals and everything i showed some of my inspirations like good people who uh, are earning with good uh, physical appearances and everything yeah so they believed in me so that that was all i like, cared like my parents believe in me i believe in myself so should i'll stick with the process yeah so slowly slowly after researching this i think 3 months passed by just like in a uh, like how should i flew the time flew yeah. literally i was just doing the same thing get, getting up in the morning eating my breakfast mm. going to the college eating my lunch coming training and, and doing my assignments and studying mm. and and one of the most mistake people do is they for uh, while training they get so consumed that they forget about the other aspects of their life yeah, yeah, exactly. that face that uh, that face happened with me too mm. like for the first two months i was only concentrating on training training i was not care about my assignments my my social life my friends life and everything mm. yeah so but slowly after everyone will face that like face that face the way they're consumed by a activity something yeah mm, but through that phase i learned a lot of things how social life is important yeah, and how correct correct yeah 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 and and i also personally feel that uh, the fitness journey is all about becoming a better person as a whole Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Aspect, once you start this journey, once you adopt this lifestyle, you learn a lot of things. A lot of things. It's not just about physically transforming yourself, but it's also psychological transformation, mental transformation. You just change. You become a better person. Yeah, yeah. That is what I feel. That is what I have noticed. Yeah, correct. Exactly what I was trying to say. Yeah. So, uh, it started out like a. kind of passion like the most main motivation was my anime and my parents yeah. and the music and my senior some of my seniors who had good physique they like when you when a people around you can achieve it you'll have that motivation Correct, yeah. if someone some celebrity does it you'll just feel like okay wow you'll just forget mm-hmm. it but what if your closest friend or your your senior your someone who's near you like does it then you'll get that zeal that uh, thing that i can also do it yeah exactly yeah. that thing inspired me a lot and that was the one like that like uh, i was also i want to also become like them so that i can inspire the people around me and kind of not act exactly inspire but at least they look up to me Correct, kind of. yeah and i feel that's working out because i i experienced yeah. that when i look at your posts and your videos i feel motivated uh thank you so much so uh what this this was all my starting journey and all yeah because that's really interesting when uh, because i don't know about your journey this is the first time i'm hearing about your journey and uh, yeah. anime part especially it's really intriguing because i never heard about this like uh, someone getting inspired from anime to uh, you know get into fitness maybe it's common in the fitness industry but i never heard of that but and that's really interesting and you good to see that these little things in life what drive us ahead right they they move yeah. you to become a fit person and there's obviously other things as well and from giving up earlier right you were going to a gym you went there for two mm. months then you basically gave up due to some reasons yeah. and you just went ahead with your life then you had your injury you had an accident then you recovered and from a recovery phase you started 
to build yourself into a much better person right yeah, better version of myself yeah exactly so that's a really, yeah. uh, great story like an inspiring one i would say and people who are listening mm-hmm. to this would definitely uh, get motivated in some form or other that was a yeah. great story even when i was listening to this i really felt motivated so that was mm-hmm. your journey into fitness that is how you yeah. came into this lifestyle and mm-hmm. and i i watch you sometimes working out for the past i think one or two weeks i've been seeing you working out this lot of mm-hmm. working out together in the gym this lot of enthusiasm mm-hmm. that is what i notice no one stopping or doing it just for the sake of doing it this like le- this legit zeal in everyone that is what i see oh, you and all your friends but uh, yeah. and i watch you guys and uh, but i don't understand anything what's happening so and i guess there is a routine right you guys have a routine so, mm, yeah. so what routine do you follow if you had to say in short right now what do you do so routines are basically classified into like many types like there are so if you if you just want to build your physique there are different routines if you want to physique your if you want to build your physique and strength there are different routines okay. if you just want a healthy lifestyle there are like you can do small routines like just waking up early mm-hmm. your daily routine can also be a good like healthy like if you just wake up early and sleep at the right time you won't be as Uh, sick as the person who is not following his sleep yeah, cycle and all exactly yeah. that's also yeah that also counts as a routine mm-hmm. so routines are like it you should uh, change your routine as that you you should follow it you should enjoy the process and you should yeah, follow yeah. it most of the people just most of the people just think that uh, are a routine is like we should follow strictly and we should hmm. stick to it and all it's yeah. not like that first when i started out i was like that hmm. like i should stick to this routine or but slowly i realized if you stick to the routine you won't enjoy it yeah correct correct yeah if you stick to a particular routine i sometimes listen to what my body says if my if i don't feel like working out today mm. when it, at the start i was not like that if i don't feel like working out also i used to push myself okay yeah mm. and uh, the more i push myself the more i enjoyed the process at the start but i the more injuries that I, that let like the the major factor of uh, fitness is recovery also most of people neglect it yeah correct yeah yeah because you're not used to this kind of muscle tension and the tendons and your ligaments are not used to this kind of tension hmm correct so uh, yeah all your life for the past 15 years you're not doing this weight training and all you're not lifting weights like mm-hmm. you have been a normal human and doing normal activities and all yeah. so suddenly if you start lifting a weight your body doesn't cooperate with it correct yeah it needs to adapt to that yeah and most of the people don't understand it they just want to train 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 so that they just want to train and become something else correct, correct. i don't yeah, get it yeah i was a, I, yeah, yeah 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 so at the start i was also like i was i was training with for handstands and i used to uh, train my shoulders also so handstands need a lot of shoulder strength mm-hmm. to yeah, hold correct, yourself yeah so what happened is i faced uh, uh, issue called shoulder impingement mm-hmm. it's like you can't uh, like your muscles are so Uh, swollen that uh, you can't lift your arm okay yeah that happened for like 2 3 weeks mm-hmm. so it was i was like facing really uh, i struggled a lot and it at night it's like really painful when you're sleeping mm-hmm. you can't lift your shoulder you just you have to sleep with your arms down like like you can't sleep properly you can't do anything properly that 3 weeks it's been like i've only trained my lower part of the body i have focused a lot on lower part of the body mm-hmm. i didn't stop my training though i kept Uh, training a lot uh, like with my legs and everything hmm yeah i worked on my abs and like the lower part so basically routines coming up to routines it's like personally i follow this routine called push pull leg okay so it's like uh, in a week i have 7 days yeah. right so if i start push with monday push i'll do uh, i'll do push on monday okay. pull on tuesday leg on wednesday i'll take a rest in between okay yeah so Thursday, you're recovering and friday again yeah recovering again friday push pull leg okay yeah again rest push pull leg that's the routine i follow actually yeah. so push includes you pushing anything includes like you're doing a bench press right yeah. so it includes your chest your shoulders and your triceps these three muscles activate when you push okay yeah you push anything even you push a car also you need your chest shoulders and everything yeah correct you you include your legs also but these that's are the main, a different factor uh, force points yeah 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 
when you are like doing a push up ah yeah, the best exercise is a push up mm. that's why these exercises are called push exercises when you are doing a push up you are you are using your chest triceps and shoulders yeah you engage your core also but the major muscles included are chest triceps and shoulders mm. so i train chest triceps and shoulders one day okay pull day comes uh, with biceps and back mm. you you if you're pulling anything like you're pulling yourself up like in a pull up you use your back your lats back and your biceps mm, yeah great. these these muscles are included in pulling mm. if you're pulling a, if you're playing a tug of war you you're using your biceps to pull yeah your arms your back and everything yeah. so uh, uh, and uh, on pull day i'll do i'll train these two muscles mm. so when i'm doing pull i don't train my push so that i'll the, my push muscles will recover on like they'll recover properly yeah again i'll do pull the next day my push and pull all my upper body strained like my biceps triceps and chest are trained my uh, back and shoulders are trained everything is trained like my upper body is fully trained push and pull mm. over so again i'll train on legs i'll focus more on legs because like legs are the, the this was the this is the main factor where most of the people ignore if you want a good upper physique hmm you should train your legs more you should not train your most of the people don't know it because your body will grow as a whole they, they just think that if you want a bigger biceps there's a limit where your biceps can grow yeah but after that if you want to grow more you should tr- you should gr- like you should grow your whole body then only it grows as a whole yeah correct as uh, like the proportionality in your body to like your legs will be skinny and your biceps are like swollen and all mm-hmm. that doesn't happen yeah. your biceps will grow as a whole so you should train your legs to like you should give more importance to your leg muscles mm. so i train my legs again rest i'll recover fully again push pull leg i'll do the same thing at times i train my on push day i'll train my abs abs are like are like i'll train them frequently mm-hmm. yeah this is what this is the routine i follow most of the gyms most of the people don't follow this routine most of the people follow this routine called bro split it's like all the bros in the gym do right it's like it's a funny name it's like they just go they do biceps one day they do triceps one day they do chest yeah, one day yeah yeah exactly this is what yeah yeah yeah, yeah. When... this is what most of the gyms do yeah, okay. this works i'm not saying this doesn't work i also did the same thing for first two months mm-hmm. this works but you you don't need that much like uh, if if i am only training biceps that day yeah. my whole body is like oh, you're only training biceps that means your body doesn't need that much time to biceps are like such small muscles right they're, yeah. they're just like an uh like really small muscles you don't need to train that hard for biceps mm-hmm. focus on legs more you should train your legs more you should train your back more yeah. you prioritize your muscles that you should train your legs next back then comes your abs then comes your chest then comes your shoulders and biceps and all mm-hmm. you should give least importance to your biceps and all yeah that, that and is- people should all yeah then people should also focus on compound movements so in training there is this thing called compound movements and isolating movements mm-hmm. compound movements like when you are using multiple muscles at a time those are called compound movements yeah beginners should definitely focus on compound movements they are 100% mm-hmm. recommended so because you are doing dead deadlifts you are using your whole back yeah. and everything yeah. legs and everything you are doing a push up that's also a compound movement you use chest triceps and shoulders mm-hmm. you are doing a pull up you use back biceps and everything mm-hmm. so these are the things people should more mostly focus on rather than doing this bicep curls bicep curls only focus on your bicep okay yeah yeah so i'm not saying those are bad exercises but for beginners you should they should train in a such a way that they should give more important to compound exercises and more important to bigger muscle groups like legs and back mm-hmm. yeah yeah that makes sense actually mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah that that creates a greater foundation for you correct correct so the later on then again you can change your routine Le- and have your main focus ha huh. yeah yeah i'm not saying bro split is not nice but beginner anything you do you just you, you just work your muscles are not like if you if you work how does a muscle grow basically you have to you there are fibers mm-hmm, yeah correct muscle fibers from one joint to one joint so when you work out the fibers tear yeah when you eat protein and carbs and everything this your muscle gets healed and the grow the fiber grow long the fiber grows long and like grow long and get strong yeah. fiber mm-hmm, yeah correct so that's how the muscle mm-hmm. grows so whatever you do when you're doing bicep curls and all you definitely there'll be improvement in your bicep i'm not saying that it doesn't mm-hmm. but if you do if you if you do compound exercise multiple muscles work at a time so mult- you'll get more growth 
as a beginner mm-hmm. correct yeah so that would be a better for so a starter a- whoever is starting like what who has recently started and has no experience so for him his muscles are obviously not used to the stress right so mm, let us yeah. slowly start with uh, the whole compound exercising so they develop as a whole so that yeah yeah that change yeah. their schedules and routines mm. and my daily routines it should be like you should there is like made i've made a video on instagram also mm-hmm. so it's like you don't need to follow strict diets and strict routines to get those that physique that's mm, what yeah. most people think the main thing is they should uh, the a little like five six points which they should ignore mm, so yeah. that their physique will grow they should avoid uh, uh, processed sugar like sugar correct yeah that is processed correct. sugar is like yeah processed sugar is uh like it's uh, when you're working out in there there'll be spike in insulin levels mm. insulin yeah. so sugar they, if if there is less spike in sorry if you work out the insulin levels drop okay they insulin drop. levels are what causes acne what causes everything mm-hmm. like your cholesterol and everything mm. so when you eat sugar it spikes up your insulin levels like drastically Correct, yeah so when your insulin level uh drastically increases hmm. spikes up increases your recovery uh, decreases a lot when you're training okay okay your muscle recovery dec- decreases a lot okay. so sugar definitely no hmm. yeah that's true and uh, yeah they should substitute it with the honey or jaggery or anything yeah yeah that would be a better option so sugar no and they should get uh, most of the most problem with indian diet is they don't get enough protein per yeah. day because we indians like we don't we eat we i'm not saying indian food is not great and all but we don't include enough protein in our foods like if you if you compare western countries and all mm-hmm. they the main the main source will be protein like the main the main part of the plate will be protein Correct, yeah. they'll eat a piece of steak and they'll just eat rice as a side mm-hmm. side yeah yeah side thing but for us we eat more carbs and less protein yeah exactly yeah you need enough protein in a day so that your muscle will recover properly mm-hmm, yeah so most of the people have this misconception of supplements also yeah exactly this is a whole other topic yeah supplements are like they if you if you take supplement that doesn't mean you're cheating or something mm-hmm. it's just to supplement your like it's like a, if, you, if if a vegetarian is there and suppose if a vegetarian is there one of my friend alden story mm-hmm. he he trains a lot he tra- sometimes he trains harder than me mm-hmm. but he's not seeing enough muscle growth and he's uh, he's not getting his desired physique due to he's a vegetarian and in their parents don't tell up chicken and everything right he's missing the proteins yeah he's missing the proteins i'm not you can you can also like eat paneer and cottage cheese and mm-hmm. uh, everything like there are nice protein sources in vegan also Very. but it gets costly it really gets costly you know day, uh, for an average indian yeah yeah exactly man. yeah correct so for him investing in supplements like whey protein and all it's it's a bad nice option mm-hmm, mm-hmm. correct because he's not able to fulfill his needs mm-hmm. fulfill his protein needs in a daily basis correct yeah yeah for for, for a person who is eating chicken daily he's eating eggs he's he's getting enough protein there isn't much need correct yeah he'll get the same he'll get the same results it's it's the same thing it's when it goes into your uh, blood like when it goes into your body it breaks down and it's the same yeah, protein correct, exactly yeah. you know uh, whey is made up of whey protein is made up of uh, when you break milk right it becomes paneer Correct. yeah the the waste milk will be like the waste water will be there right after breaking the thing mm-hmm. with that water they make whey yeah. they process it and then make mm-hmm. whey it's all natural it's yeah. whey is not a yeah so uh, i'm saying supplements are i'm not saying they're good they're not saying that bad they're like it's depends on you mm-hmm. if you're getting enough if you're getting enough protein in your day no need of supplements it's your personal choice so people should not judge them by their taking supplements so they'll get a good body or like yeah. that it doesn't happen like correct, that correct correct yeah so the and the intake is different you're having it through chicken and other protein sources yeah. yeah for me protein was not like major problem for me so my diet was like really nice and uh, uh, routines i followed were yeah that's it having a healthy Uh, meals daily mm. and um, mostly ignoring sugar and carbonated drinks especially coke and mm, everything yeah. 
those are the main things they should people should ignore carbonated drinks and uh, packed fruit juices are also really unhealthy yeah. people think that packed fruit juices are really healthy like real and i think yeah, tropicana sugars. yeah they're just made up of sugars and there is sugar called uh, there is sugar called malta dextrose okay. yeah most of the yeah most of the packed fruit juices and uh, what a uh, chocolates have this malta mm-hmm. dextrose it's like 100 times uh, try to read about it when you have time it's like 100 times sweeter yeah, than sugar these are it's artificial the, it's a, sweeteners right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So artificial sweeteners malta dextrose and there's so many sugars yeah yeah so in uh, processed uh, like packed fruit juices also they keep uh, keep uh, this all these uh, artificial mm-hmm. sweeteners so they are also not healthy Correct, yeah and uh, packed chips and though ignore yeah. them so basically you have to eat what's made in a home Natural and get enough protein those. yeah eat your dosa eat your idli breakfast mm-hmm. and try to just try to eat get more protein accumulated in a day like so eating dosa eat with your peanut chutney so peanuts have that protein yeah correct so yeah try eating peanut chutney and afternoon try eating two eggs at least two eggs or get your if you if you mom made chicken get chicken with rice and some veggies yeah and uh, before working out uh, uh, eat like a peanut butter and bread as a like it will fuel your workout and after workout eat i, I should eat mostly uh, training is a like diet is a part of your training you should yeah. not ignore it completely but you should not focus on it or completely yeah. also correct it's not it's not focus completely on it also people just so, so like they're like a diet 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 but basically it's just your lifestyle you just change it some people eat all this exotic foods like broccoli and mm. all there's no need like uh, there are many super foods in india like amla banana mm, yeah. they're like really healthy but people ignore them and they go for this exotic things that like uh, what should i say uh, broccoli and all these things mm-hmm, yeah yeah eat healthy food and that's it that's the routine these are the routines i follow be generally yeah but food and i think fitness are correlated they need to run parallel yeah, together yeah yeah because yeah because food is a fuel not, for you and yeah. you need you get your strength you get your strength by training but all the muscle mass all the thing you get by recovery and diet i'm saying it's it's, it's more like if you adjust your diet in such a way that you're getting enough protein you're not eating mm-hmm. junk you'll reach your fitness goals really yeah, easily exactly correct because we're getting so many you know desired nutrients and proteins in our daily diet itself but the thing is we go for other external things like as you said uh, sugars and all that uh, due to which uh, mm-hmm. we can't really reach our desired goal yeah yeah and people should also ignore processed meat they think that processed meat is equally healthier than equally healthier to normal chicken and that you made in mm-hmm. the house processed meat is like the patties in burgers the sausage so that is again a whole they are unhealthy they are yeah 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 because when making sausages sausages and like all these they'll crumble all the chickens together you know mm-hmm. right they, they they process through a grinder Correct, thing yeah it is all so all the all the veins all the legs all the eyes everything will get what it's called the blood of the chicken also will be there with the patty yeah, correct yeah yeah so it's like really unhealthy mm-hmm. for you most of the diseases are caused by processed like especially kfc mcdonald's correct. and everything once in a while once in a while eating them are really okay I'm not against i also eat it generally mm-hmm. when you're you can't ignore your uh, junk food totally i'm not saying you should ignore them also because when you're in a social life if you just ignore them people will look at you like a weird correct, person correct, that's true he is totally into yeah. fitness and yeah once in a while it's definitely okay like one cheat meal in a week two cheat meal in a week is mm-hmm. okay it's it happens but your body can't depend on but that but try right? yeah yeah it's not be a daily mm-hmm. meal correct like, it's not be a part of a daily that meal should not compensate for your uh, you know whatever regular food you're getting through your homemade food or whatever uh, yeah 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 hmm. so these are the like routines and everything i followed at the start and everything okay so that those were your routines like very extensive list hmm. but very informative yeah so that was really great and we also spoke about nutrition and food hmm so since uh, this was your 
take on fitness and your routines and and would like to ask uh, like why should people adopt this fitness lifestyle and how will how can they maintain it along with their busy schedules as you said you know most of the students go to colleges universities they're busy mm, yeah. the whole day yeah. and after they yeah. return from their colleges which is mostly from 9 to 5 uh, they start with assignments mm. exams and the daily jargon which is common yeah. to all indian yeah. students i feel Yeah, and after yeah. that again when you're exhausted from your daily work and all that then again working out how do you motivate yourself how does one motivate himself and how do you continue your fitness journey and at the same time stay healthy and eat healthy yeah it's uh, it's a major like it's a good question and also uh we should have adapt your fitness Excuse me. You should adapt your fitness lifestyle because it's basically how should it? People are like humans are. Humans are we we live we die. That's a part of our life and yeah. everything. So through the period of time, as you reach your thirties, forties, hmm. you'll just you'll, you'll you'll just focus on the your money to get your job mm-hmm. and everything. You'll focus. You'll have so many what are these called responsibilities. Correct, yeah. responsibilities and all those works your job mm-hmm. and everything so at that age if you want to adopt your fitness if if you get if you want to get used to your fitness lifestyle it's really hard it's really really yeah, hard yeah because you give up at that point you'll be like like uh, this doesn't suit i'm not this kind of person i i won't work out this is in my part of yeah. thing so what i recommend most of the people is start at the start when they're mm-hmm. young correct because it becomes a part of your lifestyle like why they it should become a part of your lifestyle because after you get 30 40 there will be major factors will be affecting your health like stress like your work tension and yeah, everything correct. because of that you need some escape from your life right you need your something else if you, if you are into rock climbing if you are into hiking that's totally fine the fitness doesn't only mean working out and get being in good shape and everything if you are into sport it's mm. really good for the sport if you're swimming running. or anything but weight training has it weight training and body weight training has it perks mm-hmm. when yeah. uh, when compared to other because you 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 look good when playing in a sport and everything people sportsmen also that weight train and everything you know mm-hmm. right yeah because it's essential your body to grow hmm. so uh in this busy life schedule my life was the same thing when i had example so i used to train like uh, not uh, like an hour or 45 minutes but like a, a lot, around 15 to 30 minutes you need that movement in your body daily mm-hmm. so that you'll stay active throughout yeah, the day yeah. yeah so when i was like facing exams and all this is the best tip i could give when you have the tension in your mind right that i have an exam tomorrow like today i have to yeah. study and all so pre plan yourself that train yourself that that day you're taking as a rest day because like the exam you're writing that day so bef- the the night you should study right the night yeah. or the day, uh, before day the whole day yeah. you study so the uh, train in such a way that the the like the day before that you train hard so that you should it should be a rest day that mm, day yeah okay so that you're taking your rest that day correct yeah that that helped me a lot and that option and basic options like getting up in the morning and just stretching mm-hmm. stretching and doing surya namaskara that also yeah, helps a lot really it's, it's actually it's one of the best things to do yeah yeah even yoga is also really good i'm into yoga and flexibility yeah. training and all so it doesn't mean if you stop your weight training main if you stop your weight training for a while if you if, if you want to give a one month hmm. break or something due to your personal issues or your your exams your work mm-hmm. and everything then don't just completely leave anything just like keep a schedule like daily 15 to 10 minutes at least at the morning or while mm-hmm. sleeping do at least few push ups and stretch yourself stretch your body so that you'll feel nice mm-hmm. and follow the same diet you followed throughout the uh like before you're working out so that you'll so that you'll be in shape you'll stay in shape most of the people just work out get that get that bo- body they want and they'll just they'll just yeah, leave yeah correct yeah yeah and they'll become like again they should start mm-hmm. over 
there is code called if you are scared to start over don't stop mm, yeah don't be scared of starting over everything else by just even Sorry, stopping them sense, yeah yeah like don't stop just 15 minutes is more than enough so you just have to reduce the intensity so that you just don't lose the yeah yeah it. yeah if you're training more you'll of course be stressed because of you need your body needs mm-hmm. recovery you can't work properly Correct, yeah. all. so reduce your intensity uh, reduce your intensity reduce your the amount of uh, like resistance you're keeping on your mm-hmm, body yeah so that you will recover fast and you can focus on your work correct yeah that's correct yeah, you can go on morning jogs or a walk also a walk so that fine mainly the diet and the main thing diet should be most of people ask me what how what should me like my diet be and mm. all it depends on you correct. if you're like uh, it depends on you it's like uh, how should i tell you mm, uh, so there's this thing like i follow a fitness influencer called uh, athlenex he's like really famous in bodybuilding and okay. all so he he says that uh, a diet should be a thing like you should enjoy eating it daily you should f- shouldn't force yourself your eat your that thing you're eating mm-hmm. and he'll say that who said healthy food food is not tasty yeah correct the way you make it it becomes tasty mm-hmm. like people force themselves to eat the, the rice and curry in their house they force themselves to eat healthy food they just don't enjoy the food they just eat it that uh, in that sense you can't uh, like be consistent he'll in one or the other day you'll just yeah. cheat correct, cheat your correct, meal yeah. the main thing is enjoy what you're eating you should not forcefully enjoy it and that's also the major point you should enjoy it by yourself mm-hmm. that being said you should make your meals tasty by adding some nice things in your mm-hmm. dish like nice veggies and nice chicken or something mm, yeah yeah you should make your plate enjoyable you should enjoy eating it you should you should wait for the meal to you should while working also you should be like oh, I'm, i want to enjoy that meal now like mm-hmm. i'm uh, that the appetite like that appetite should build in your head yeah you will make the best yeah. out of your diet then yeah 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 and at days you might cheat but don't feel bad just move on and mm-hmm. like if you if i if you drank a bottle of coke you just missed it so much and you drank I, it happened with me also i like at a recent party i just drank a like almost a half liter of coke and i was like regretting mm. myself but i moved i moved on what what can i do Correct. i can't the main reset the get back to you again yeah 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 if you get back to your schedule and stick mm, to that yeah that's correct that's correct so mm-hmm. so people should make time and start early Yeah, and i feel yeah. once you st- uh, get hold of this uh, thing uh, the thing is you start enjoying it yeah. and yeah. i i've seen people get really enthusiastic about this i've seen people wake up at 5 uh, in the morning work out run mm-hmm. go for long uh, runs and jogs then return back home go to office return then come back they play sports there's so many things they're doing Oh. once you it becomes a part of your right, lifestyle yeah. you don't need to focus on mm-hmm. it much like it it becomes like how you're brushing how you're sleeping yeah. nobody tells you to do them right it it should become a part right, of your lifestyle right, yeah. it like it, it happens naturally you not you not even think you just wear your shoes and you go yeah, for a run right, right. the thing is the early days might be difficult but once you get hold of it yeah, it becomes a part it. of your life that is yeah. why it's labeled as the fitness lifestyle Yeah. Uh, it becomes a part of you and it's an important thing that everyone should adopt maybe uh, not in you know uh, more intensity for some people it might not be possible but at least they should stay active they should stay fit yeah, yeah because you know a fit body leads to a fit mind so overall yeah that that that's yeah, really so true overall you obviously become a better person as we discussed earlier yeah so that was how you would suggest to maintain a schedule so now the main hmm. question is the current yeah. crisis uh, is ongoing right now and people are at the homes uh, because of the lockdown and yeah obviously all the gyms are closed and everything is closed everything is shut down but on the other hmm. side people are at home and they have nothing to do for almost 2 3 months so i yeah. think that's a good time to start so 
Oh. Yeah, it's a really great idea. So understand. what would you say about staying fit during COVID-19 at home with minimum equipment because you can't expect people to have anything at home. Yeah. yeah. So um, basically when I was like training in gyms mm-hmm. and all this COVID-19 thing happened and I was like really I was also shocked like how should I train myself yeah. and all. So I I I had this dream of doing a handstand from like when I was mm-hmm. a kid. So I started learning how to handstand yeah. and all i've been learning how to handstand handstand and so i found really nice influencers like influencers and athletes who just train with their body mm-hmm. weight that's called uh, those athletes are called calisthenic okay. athletes calisthenics is like kali means beauty okay. sorry kali means uh, okay. strength tenics means okay. beauty you are mixing up your like you are getting strength and beauty beauty means your yeah, physic yeah basically with only your body mm. weight you don't need any equipment with like with it. you just need bars like the uh, pull up mm, bars that you can find anywhere at homes we have uh, slabs and stuff yeah. so you can obviously use that yeah yeah you can mm. definitely use it so you can get a pull up bar in your house or else a slab Correct, you can yeah. use it mm. so i started uh, seeing how to handstand mm. video so i've been training how to handstand almost around like 4 mm. 5 months i'm still don't i didn't still master it like leave mastering it i, st- I still can't hold around like 30 mm-hmm. seconds i can hold like around 20 seconds that's mm-hmm. it but you're getting there you're making so, progress yeah i'm getting there at start it's like really impossible i was scared i was really scared i was a, i was really scared of falling and all slowly i started mm-hmm. started then so when i re- i'm now i reached a point that i'm totally interested in calisthenics more mm-hmm. than body weight because it's really calisthenics is like really challenging because you you train every day mm-hmm. just by doing push ups a different variation spike push up this push up and that yeah. push up like there infinite variations you go on go on there will be harder mm. variations and there will be skills also you need to unlock yeah. it's like in calisthenics they use this term unlock like once you get that neurological connection with your body how to uh, how to do that skill like you, you know what's a muscle up right muscle up means you pull up and then you go above the bar doing it okay up. okay good in the okay, same yeah, motion i got it yeah yeah Yeah, yeah that thing is like really hard for many people like the people who who have really good physics and all also they mm-hmm. can't do it because it's more about controlling your body and doing the transition from a pull up to a dip mm-hmm. so it's like unlocking skills i also wasn't able to do it i trained for like 2 weeks for it and i suddenly a day i just was imagining the main thing about unlocking a skill is you should imagine how how you want mm-hmm. to do it okay suddenly i just got it the I was training for it at like the other day. I just suddenly just got it. So handstand also just like that. You should train, train, train. Monday you'll get it. In that journey, you should also train in calisthenics. You should focus on your flexibility because your muscles will get tight mm. daily. So you should loosen your muscles so that you can perform your best in the other yeah. day. So you can should you focus on your flexibility? You should focus on your strength. You should focus on your skills. There are many aspects. It's like I uh, there's this guy called uh, f- uh, fitness FAQs. He's a mm-hmm. German. he has a channel so he he has been training from 10 years in only through calisthenics mm-hmm. mostly through calisthenics calisthenics and he still says that i'm uh, i'm i still don't know many things in calisthenics yeah. because it's like there are many harder versions you once you learn a pull up you can do muscle up after doing muscle up you should you can learn a muscle up 360 after doing a muscle up 360 you can do above the bar muscle up 360 there like progressions like progression 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 you should yeah i should keep like leveling up just like yeah, go <laughs> correct yeah 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 so this this thing helped me a lot like i don't need equipment mm. i would recommend cal like i'm definitely recommend calisthenics you can build amazing physique i saw many people building amazing physiques through calisthenics and most of the people who are in calisthenics start with weight mm-hmm. training because you need that basic strength yeah, correct, right yeah they do weight training for like few months and they sh- shift to calisthenics and they only learn so the main reason calisthenics is really nice because you can train mm. anywhere you don't need a gym you don't need anything you just need a bar or else you, some, sometimes you don't even need a bar when you're doing push you don't even need a bar when you want to do pull you mm. need a bar yeah but for uh, for beginners it might be really tough starting off through calisthenics because there there are really advanced mm. moves and all but sticking to the basics like push ups pull ups push ups pull ups squats and all these things will improve your foundation and one day you'll achieve your goals yeah, 
it it might it might not be in a day in a yeah, month time. but in span of 3 for mm-hmm. months definitely like learn yeah, the skill but, but when you the main thing is when you achieve that skill will the level of excitement and the happiness you get is really yeah, different yeah, from exactly, any yeah. other thing the i was really happy when i got this physique also was not this happy when i like <laughs> i got good grades in my also mm-hmm. exam also was not this happy it's like it's like it's more like reinventing yourself yeah. like you you learned a thing which you'd been working off for Correct. so long yeah yeah so uh, calisthenics is my go to thing in covid thing. okay so that is what you would suggest so without yeah okay so people can get started in this art and they can slowly master this yeah. over the years they can you know level up and yeah. Yeah yeah okay so that is what you would say this so since we spoke about mm-hmm. that so, and you told this can be done without equipment you just need bars and all that mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. so for all the people who started doing this and started you know uh, making time for calisthenics in their uh, yeah. in their already free uh, time during the lockdown and even though uh, their work resumes after the lockdown right and they get busy okay. they can still do it They, they'll have yeah. time for that they don't need to go to a gym gym yeah yeah equipment, that's what expensive what... equipment and all that yeah yeah you just need yourself and some little motivation right. motivation but what one... the main thing in calisthenics is people give up mm-hmm. like i was also at the point where i was like no dude i can't do this handstand it's like i've been training for 3 months and it's, i'm still not right, getting yeah. it when you're a gym like a a bicep curl everyone can do it right like It's, it's just like you you do the same thing repeatedly in the mm-hmm. gym, same thing. You just increase your weights. Yeah. That's it. So it's, all body. it's also challenging, but you just yeah yeah. But controlling your own body, how how do you want? It's like really mm-hmm. amazing. It felt really intriguing for me. Correct. That's that's nice. So that leads yeah. to my question. Another question. So if you had to mm. decide between home fitness and gyms with you know professional guidance which one would you select okay. because gyms a uh, lot of people have time constraints and i know as we discussed earlier uh, the busy with their lifestyles uh, in their regular day to day life uh, so how can mm-hmm. so which one would you prefer like home fitness or gyms with equipment and guidance for achieve the same goals for it depends on your goals also mm-hmm. if you just want to get that physique if you want it, So if a person is really obese, he will just want to get skinny and mm-hmm. all. With a professional guidance, he he might be able to do it fast. Okay, yeah, correct. That's a whole different thing. He can, he, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That whole depends on your uh, needs. If you want to learn skills, you don't need a trainer and all. You just want yourself, and you should work on the mm-hmm. skills. I would def- definitely recommend a trainer when when you are like uh, you can't self motivate yourself. You just need someone mm-hmm. to help yeah, you. then definitely i would recommend but if you, if you can yourself uh, but guidance is really important when you are mm. learning i also dm many uh, fitness like guys who achieve who do calisthenics mm-hmm. so that i'll send my progress to mm-hmm. them and they'll tell what is my what am i doing uh, this is guy called grover grover mm-hmm. so i send him my handstands okay. this is then he'll tell me uh, he'll not charge like there are many people who don't charge this help okay. you out so my go to advice is that go like reach out to those people better than those professionals be active, who charge a lot mm-hmm. yeah so uh, i asked them what am i doing wrong he explained me i understood the problem and i figured it out mm-hmm. they fi- professional help is really important when you're when you don't know what you're doing when you're researching and you're studying yourself you are becoming a professional in that Correct, yeah, you don't exactly, need help yeah. of other people exactly. yeah you don't, you don't help of other people mm-hmm. but you you just want to get that physique you don't care about gaining knowledge through fitness you just want physique most of the people just aim for that they want the physique that's mm-hmm. it Correct, however yeah. they'll be like i'll i'll pay how much you want i i need that physique mm-hmm. so they'll get trainers but and those gyms. kind of people yeah but those kind of people trainers might be helpful but my go to advice is train yourself with your own motivation mm. but the level of satisfaction you get when you reach a point where 
people like what you're doing like people mm-hmm. uh, appreciate you you'll really enjoy the hard work you did you won't regret it at all correct yeah exactly because you're doing everything on your yeah. own you're achieving something and you know the yeah. result is really fruitful yeah so definitely that be great... definitely than someone guiding you yeah. yeah correct yeah exactly i'm not saying don't take guidance guidance is really important a teacher is a teacher mm. but 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 ultimately it's all about uh, how you do things yeah right? yeah yeah correct correct so since you're saying that uh, it depends on us but yeah going having our own journey is very important because it gives us a lot of motivation and it drives us ahead so yeah. and uh, and you are a self taught fitness enthusiast right you have researched yeah. you have spent lot of time yeah. on calisthenics and uh, other weight training and you have learned a yes. lot of things and you're still learning as well you're active in the community <laughs> i've just started out like how much ever i learn i just feel like i'm at the beginning of the yeah uh, road yeah correct correct so for a beginner who is entering this world right now he would obviously mm-hmm. have to research and learn and do all this right so in this yeah. process how does a person avoid misinformation because uh, uh, i constantly read in articles and all uh, uh, news sources that people are misguided in the fitness world in yeah. training and working out because uh, they consume the wrong things sometimes they do the wrong workouts they uh, they mm-hmm. overdo themselves sometimes so they get hurt in yeah. the process right uh, yeah. so that's mm-hmm. really uh, Uh, that's really a negative aspect of that so so f- for a self thought person what would you suggest like how to avoid misinformation and stay safe from bad practices so that they can stay yeah. safe like, and uh, move ahead in their journey yeah yeah i got like most like i saw many youtubers and people who have zero knowledge about fitness but they still have millions of subscribers okay. exactly yeah and exactly. they just yeah they just this do like would they copy other fitness influencers and they be like uh, i'm doing this they just look good that's it mm-hmm, yeah so i'm not saying they didn't work hard for this physique they did work hard for their physique but they're spreading wrong information to people and wrong teaching so that uh, they'll uh, like the people will believe them and they'll get more mm-hmm. uh, followers and subscribers and everything Correct. so to avoid this the major recommend would be like recommendation would be at first educate yourself mm-hmm. educate yourself about basic things i'm not saying about advanced nutrition and everything when you educate yourself about basic things like body the major thing is people don't know the names of the muscles also mm-hmm. when they're training basic muscles like triceps biceps yeah you don't even know what they're training yeah. like what does push muscles and what does pull muscles mm-hmm. and uh, these things uh, just once you get to know the basics of the thing Yeah. when you're listening to a guy you'll just figure it out what he's telling is correct, correct yeah, or correct. like it will make sense to you yeah correct you'll pick points why is he telling this thing and why is he avoiding that yeah, so yeah. you'll know what yeah. to do and, and make things more yeah. well. and mostly you should you should help if take the help of genuine people mm. and the sad thing is the people who are really are really into this fitness and who are really mm. really like intelligent and really hard working they have less following and less Good. subscribers than those exactly yeah all those all those yeah mm. all those influencers and all Correct. so i would recommend that educate yourself first then you'll know the mm-hmm. what who's doing who who's telling the correct thing who's telling wrong and you can take advice from nice coaches sick nice coaches or like nice like a senior from you a senior who had uh, experience who, who you can trust and yeah, everything yeah yeah correct yeah so this way you can stay safe and this do is... the right thing and you know uh, work in the right direction to achieve your goals that you work hard yeah yeah so that you know misinformation mm-hmm. sometimes ruin all of this yeah mm-hmm. so okay that was about misinformation so and to before we end uh, if you had to quickly okay. give a run through of tips to get motivated and you know how to start working out and maybe uh, weight training and calisthenics what are the do's and don'ts if mm-hmm. you have uh, you can give few points quick run through okay so 
starting out can be really like really you can't, you can't focus like you can't focus you'll just you just want to give up at the start that happens with everyone who oh, whomever you ask any professional coach or everyone will just say that starting it's really mm-hmm. hard but once you stick with your mode first the main thing is you should have a long term goal Good, yeah. if you want to like you want to get a physique or you want to build strength or you just want you just want a happy life like healthy lifestyle mm-hmm. or you want to learn calisthenics and advanced skills and all mm. you should first have a goal just don't go to the gym and lift and yeah. like you should have a goal physique it's definitely it's completely fine when you're just training for physique because you want to look good you want that confidence you know right. most of the people most of the people want that so when you're aiming for physique it mostly depends on your diet than training mm-hmm. yeah so people should understand for calisthenics and this thing it depends mostly on training than diet okay yeah because you need to train consistently and learn new things and learn 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 mm. but in physique you just need to eat healthy and stay healthy and uh, do your weights regularly mm. you'll just you'll, you'll see changes you'll do the job yeah but when you just want a healthy lifestyle it's no need to weight train also you just need to take runs jogs and mm-hmm. or else hang out with your friends in the evening at the park mm-hmm. do some yeah. basic just stay active yeah yeah just stay active mm-hmm. just being healthy Correct. and have a healthy diet yeah. so have a long term goal mm-hmm. and short term goal you need to have short term goals also like mm-hmm. how you want to achieve a skill or something this uh, like from from like be like for the 6 months i'll work on this skill or for 2 months i'll work on this mm. skill if that doesn't happen it's okay but you'll learn a lot from the process mm, yeah correct yeah the major thing is the major thing is when you're starting out first start out and then start your research most of people just research a lot and they they know what all they need to do but they don't okay yeah they don't start mm, correct some of the people start they this one but they don't research mm-hmm. you should you shouldn't you shouldn't be doing either of those first start learn through the mistakes and you'll definitely do mistakes i'm not saying you won't mm-hmm. but you can reduce those mistakes by researching like researching in the sense just youtube it google it yeah correct why why should we do a bicep curl just learn the basics of body dynamics mm-hmm. you'll you'll find it interesting like daily working on it daily daily you can find it in this and the main thing is if you are into music listen to nice like motivation music or you know right there are many songs like rap mm-hmm. and everything just listen to them you'll get motivated or else correct think yeah. of something will yeah yeah have that image in your mind mm. like what i want to become why am i doing okay, this okay yeah that's correct i understand what you're trying to say because it pumps you up yeah uh, yeah even and the major thing is start, at the start at the start this might this might sound cliche and all but don't give up that's it yeah most of people tell it just don't give up go go to the gym work out come back do your thing do your thing go to the gym come back do go to the gym go to the gym it becomes a habit and after that you don't even you won't even demotivate yourself and yeah, everything it's it it won't... you'll just go to the gym yeah it becomes a life lifestyle Correct. it doesn't more like it becomes a lifestyle than a uh, forceful thing you do hmm. correct yeah yeah so do's and don'ts are like do's are research hmm. research through the way start first start the work and research along the way hmm. don't focus much on uh, the supplements and all at the start yeah correct use supplements when you are you like necessarily need it and learn about supplements too mm-hmm. research which is a good company to yeah. buy then like most of the companies have fake correct. supplements yeah. and all which is a good company to buy mm-hmm. what are good supplements what all i need mm-hmm. and all and uh, uh, and do sir uh, ah uh, that's it mostly uh, but don'ts there are more ma- mainly don'ts people do yeah. like uh, they don't most of the people they train uh, uh, like they train a lot they eat a good diet but still they don't get results because of not enough sleep and recovery mm-hmm. at night they'll play pubg or they'll, yeah. they'll chat with yeah, the friends yeah, yeah. use social media and they don't sleep mm-hmm. definitely you need 7 to 8 hours definitely 8 hours is like highly recommended but minimum min- like minimum you should at least get 7 hours of sleep mm-hmm. while weight training mm-hmm. so 8 to 7 hours is must yeah. that means my uh, daily schedule is like i 10 to 6 this is my like daily schedule 8 hours okay that's nice and the main thing is you should have a sleep cycle also because 
your body needs to adapt mm-hmm. yeah when which time you're sleeping which time you're waking up and your gym should also be a cycle like at this time you're hitting the gym daily your muscles will get adapted mm-hmm. at the time i need that energy and all yeah your body has has a, also has its own biological clock so mm, yeah, correct. it works yeah. in that way it has its own yeah. rhythm yeah mm, so you should set that limit take time but till set yeah. itself the and uh, do and don'ts there yeah main point start and learn along with the process enjoy the process yeah. and the main thing is don't lose yourself in the process mm-hmm. like just don't train and become big and don't not having a goal just focusing on the it's only the that goal and leaving the rest of your life that happened mm-hmm. with me also and that's why i'm saying it's experience yeah correct I was just training training i was not focusing on my social life my education and everything mm-hmm. correct that should yeah. that is also equal yeah and don't go with this fancy diet first like always follow people who are who mention the researches they they will like after their thing after their video in a youtube or something mm-hmm. after the video they link the researches they did study and they link mm-hmm. you no they are they are really helpful like those are really people who really study and they'll help mm. you other people who just say that drink this drink that it will help you mm. you know i saw people drinking just like uh, he'll keep a blender and he'll okay, uh, he'll grind mutton and drink mm-hmm. like mutton yeah yeah i saw all those crazy people also so follow people who mention their researches who are really educated who have certificates correct yeah in fitness field and all mm. don't see their looks and just follow them what they're saying that's a major thing the people who you follow through you look up to also matters mm, a lot yeah because you will you'll try to follow their own their guidance right follow their own thing yeah yeah, yeah. correct then and and uh, don't try yeah, yeah. and i feel like uh, when see this thing is about our body right so when we yeah. are playing with our body technically when we are experimenting things i think it is natural that a person should be very cautious about what he is yeah, doing yeah. what he should not do what he should do so i feel the yeah. research part that you mentioned is very 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 important essentially yeah. yeah so and people shouldn't try these there like fasting is really good for health mm-hmm. like this is uh, and you know about intermittent fasting mm-hmm. intermittent fasting is like in in a day you fast around 12 to 16 hours okay. so uh, what that like it's really good for health it's like when you when i sleep at 10 right mm-hmm. so 10 to 6 is 8 hours mm-hmm. sleeping also includes in that yeah. fast so 10 to 6 is 8 mm-hmm. hours so 12 hours means uh, around 9 uh, 9 o'clock mm-hmm. yeah okay around again 10 in the morning you shouldn't eat anything you should, you should just drink water mm-hmm. like skip your breakfast mm-hmm. skip your breakfast so uh, so that what happens is uh, your body will take time to heal itself mm. you know breakfast was invented this is a side so breakfast was invented by western people their indians never believed in breakfast mm, yeah you still now in villages they directly morning they just get up and they eat some like nuts Ooh, or yeah. something and they directly eat lunch yeah fruits and everything and directly eat lunch mm-hmm. you you can see most in the most of the villages correct but this uh, western people when they started industrializing and doing uh, uh, the, when cereal company started like cereals mm-hmm. like kellogs and everything they made this term called breakfast like you're breaking fast. the fast yeah, exactly yeah correct yeah that's it that is what breakfast mm-hmm. you're breaking the fast you did the whole night so the main mis- bad misconception mis- okay the major bad thing is mm. uh people who people who tell that breakfast is a really important meal of your day mm. is it's totally wrong okay it's it's like there's no important meal in your day it's like what your body uh, this is a whole other side story so what your body is telling listen to that mm. it's like if you don't want to eat breakfast this morning it's definitely okay fine mm. just eat your lunch mm-hmm. but lunch is like really important because your di- there is a thing called digestive fire mm-hmm. when morning it it starts and when uh, when the sun is at like at the top of your head it, it's like at the peak position mm-hmm. where everything dies it dies fast mm-hmm. 
and at night it's really low that's why they sh- you should eat less in, like before yeah. less in the night yeah. so breakfast is like cereal company started out this term called breakfast mm-hmm. so after that many people made this like whole thing called breakfast and it's a really important meal and everything yeah correct yeah. Your, that makes it's like fasting yeah fasting is like it's it's, it's a thing where many religions follow mm-hmm. in 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 uh, muslims and hindu and christianity in everything fasting is like a divine thing which people do mm-hmm, yeah and most people ignore it mm-hmm. because they think that fasting will make you thin and everything it doesn't it's, it doesn't like make you thin or make you uh, like uh, yeah it's it doesn't mess up your digestive system at all mm-hmm. it just you giving time your body to heal mm-hmm. yeah correct so try intermittent fasting i would recommend definitely recommend intermittent mm-hmm. fasting it's like 12 to 16 hours a day around 12 to 16 hours a day try fasting and mm-hmm. eat your lunch like skip your breakfast eat your lunch eat your dinner mm-hmm. eat your evening snack and everything again skip your breakfast okay yeah that or else you can skip you can skip your dinner and eat your breakfast it depends on your lifestyle mm-hmm. like people who work at night might uh, not eat dinner and do breakfast in the morning or they might eat dinner it depends on your lifestyle basically hmm so so see don't just blindly follow me also mm. see some nice videos of videos or uh, read some researches about intermittent fasting then you'll know about more about it yeah correct so you can choose what yeah. is best for your body which suits your lifestyle best yeah yeah okay so that was your tip on what to do and what not to do those were your do's and don'ts yeah yeah so i think that's it that is all there is to talk about this and we spoke a lot actually and yeah and if this was uh, if you ask me this was really informative and there was a lot of contemplation that went into this that was it was an amazing experience for me because i learned a lot from this and i'm pretty sure whoever is going to listen to this is going to learn a lot of things lot of things there's many things that we discussed in this many important factors there's so many things that people might find useful especially uh, during lockdown and people might start start working out as well or staying fit at mm-hmm. least so that was a really great yeah. conversation with you and uh, and i'm going to link your youtube and uh, instagram so okay so all the people who are listening to this whatever we spoke uh sometimes might not make sense to you but when you visit his uh, youtube and instagram and when you look at the photos and videos it all of this will definitely make sense to you you will definitely get motivated you will definitely uh, follow this more carefully and you will start researching at least that is what i can guarantee you so thank you so much it was like it was amazing talking sharing my feelings with someone who understands it yeah thank you so much for coming to my show yeah. for uh, uh, giving all this insightful thoughts and all uh, whatever you have researched over the years whatever you have learned and sharing part of it with the people so that they can also start so they can also have some motivation so thank you so much for that uh, i'm pretty sure everyone is going to love this and this is definitely going to be useful because uh, listening to this recording this myself this was very useful i learned a thing or two for sure and everyone is going to learn a lot from this so thank you so much uh, for coming to the hello show and uh, and that was all about staying fit during covid 19 uh, and thank you so much more episodes will be coming soon uh, the blog is also live do check it out uh, the blog i spent a lot of time writing a lot of things there's a poem as well as a picture description there's three full blogs as well uh, and three of them have actually won prizes as well that is why i posted them first and there'll be more soon more podcasts will be coming so jits uh, instagram and youtube will be linked down below please check it out so you will understand this better and it will all make sense to you so thank you so much everyone so oh, keep listening keep keep learning stay fit thank you so much for thank having you. me thank you